Tea Time Chinese Episode Forty One: The Pandemic in Shanghai. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Tea Time Chinese. I'm Nathan. I've had a lot of exams at school recently, so I haven't read the messages written by many of our friends. Just now, I turned on my computer and saw a lot of messages on Patreon, on YouTube, and in my email. I'll read them slowly and then reply to you all. You should be hearing from me very soon. Let's begin our topic. Recently. I've had a lot of foreign friends asking me about what is going on in Shanghai. When I talk to my Chinese friends, we also talk about this situation. If you watch the news, you should have heard about what is going on in Shanghai. The 疫情 in Shanghai is very serious. What does 疫情 mean? 疫 means virus, and 情 means pandemic. I am from Shanghai. But as you know, I don't live there at this very moment, so I can only tell you what I know and then share a little bit of what I think about the situation. Are you ready? In January 2020, we saw the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in Wuhan, China. Then the pandemic reached many other parts of the world: Tokyo in Japan, New York in the United States. Moscow in Russia, and so on. In these cities, 成千上万 of people are getting the virus daily. 成千上万 means tens of thousands of. Yet during that time, we saw that the pandemic in Shanghai was not so serious. People wore masks and got vaccinated and everything, but life went on as normal. Students went to school every day. Adults went to work every day. In the park, I often saw elderly people not wearing masks either. I often went out to eat with my family and friends as well. People were not too worried about the pandemic because they believed that the government would do a good job of controlling it. For the two years from 2020 to 2021, the government was very serious about controlling the pandemic. The government was encouraging people to wear masks and get vaccinated. If someone took a plane from a foreign country to Shanghai, they would also be quarantined for two weeks. If someone had the virus, they would be taken to hospital immediately. At that time in Shanghai, there were only twenty or thirty cases found per day, so you could see that it really wasn't too serious. Then, in March of this year, the pandemic in Shanghai suddenly became bad. Every day, there were a thousand or even two thousand new cases. People suddenly started to worry about the pandemic and whether Shanghai would order a fengcheng like in Wuhan. Fengcheng is another new word. It means lockdown in English. Would there be a lockdown in Shanghai? At the beginning. The Shanghai government said that there would not be a lockdown, but on the twenty seventh of March, the Shanghai government suddenly said that, starting from the twenty eighth, which is the very next day, the city would be locked down. So, will the whole city of Shanghai be locked down? The government said no. We would first lock down Pudong and then Puxi. If you have been to Shanghai, you know that there is a river in Shanghai called the Suzhou River. The west side of the Suzhou River is called Puxi, and the east side is called Pudong. The Shanghai government's plan was to lock down Pudong first for five days, from March the twenty-eighth to April the first, and then lock down Puxi. From April the first to April the fifth, Shanghai was to be locked down on the twenty eighth, but people weren't told about this until the twenty seventh. They weren't ready, so they all went to the supermarkets to buy things. We can say that there were 成千上万 of people in the supermarkets. There were so many people in the supermarkets that 
vegetables, fruit, and rice were all sold out. Fengcheng is locked down. Everybody must stay at home, and they are not allowed to go out. If you have a job, you must work at home. The students are also having their classes at home. All the supermarkets and restaurants are shut down. Every day, a doctor will come to your house to do a PCR test. If they find that you have the virus, they will take you to hospital. The government in Shanghai has prepared many, many temporary hospitals. In China, we call such hospitals Fengcheng hospitals. The Fengcheng hospitals were first built for people in Wuhan in 2020. Now there are four enormous Fengcheng hospitals in Shanghai. 那通过专家一起来研究了我们的一个出院标准，我们的方舱医院呢都是根据这个来进行研判的。The government in Shanghai thought that the lockdown was a good idea. They thought that as long as everybody was at home, there would be nowhere for the virus to go, and the pandemic would soon be over. But that is not what we are seeing. There are more and more cases in Shanghai every day. On the first day of the lockdown. There were more than 4,000 cases in Shanghai, but on the fifth day of the lockdown, there were more than 6,000 cases in Shanghai. The Shanghai government said that on April the first, the lockdown in Pudong would be 解封解封 means to lift a lockdown. So can we 解封浦东 now? Can the lockdown in Pudong be lifted? The Shanghai government said no. Pudong would remain in lockdown. During this time, Puxi was also started to be locked down. Now people in Pudong are staying at home. People in Puxi are also staying at home. All of Shanghai is staying at home. So now is the pandemic getting better? No. On the fifth of April, there were already sixteen thousand new cases in Shanghai. Why are there so many new cases? When everyone is staying at home every day, the government in Shanghai doesn't understand. The government originally said that the lockdown in Puxi would be lifted on the day of April the fifth. So, can the lockdown be lifted right now? The Shanghai government says no. We must continue to lock down the city. At this time, people in Shanghai are getting worried. They hadn't known that the lockdown would remain. Many people had only prepared food for five days. They had not prepared food for later. There were people who had nothing left to eat in their homes. There were also elderly people who have to take medicine every day. They had only prepared medicine for five days, and they are now out of medicine too. There are people who don't have the virus, but they have other diseases, and they have to go to hospital. Now these people can't go to the hospital either; they must stay at home. What about those Fontan Hospital we talked about? Many people who had the virus and went to the Fontan Hospital said that it was very uncomfortable to stay there. They shared a lot of videos and photos of the Fontan Hospital, saying that. There wasn't a lot of food, no place to take a shower, etc. People were scared and did not want to go to the Fontan Hospital after watching those videos and photos. Many people felt that although the virus was scary, the Fontan Hospital was even scarier. The pandemic isn't getting any better. People in Shanghai still don't have enough food supplies, and the Fontan Hospital isn't doing well. At this time, the government in Shanghai is very nervous. They started allowing tuan gao in order to make sure no one starves. Today, we are going to learn a lot of new words. Tuan gao is another new word. What does tuan gao mean? Tuan gao means that people who live in the building all make a purchase together. They can buy eggs, vegetables, fruit, and so on. If you want to buy something. You join the tuan gao using your phone. If you don't want to buy anything, 
You don't have to join the Tuan Gou. Then the food will be delivered from outside to the door of the building where you live. Then the food will be delivered to everyone's home. But there are elderly people who don't know how to use their mobile phones. A lot of people do Tuan Gou on their phones. The elderly don't. I am a little bit concerned about how they can buy food if these elderly people are living alone. Today, while I was doing the podcast, I had a look at the news of Shanghai's pandemic today, and saw that the number of cases today had reached almost twenty thousand. How long will Shanghai be locked down? We don't know. Should Shanghai be locked down? Is locking down the city really a good idea? Many Shanghainese and Chinese people are discussing the issue. Many of my Shanghainese friends don't like the city being locked down. I know some Shanghainese who have been staying at home for a month. They can't go out for a month and have to cook their own meal every day. This might not be a very interesting life. After all these, you might want to ask why there is suddenly a problem in March of this year, when there has been no problem at all in Shanghai for the past two years. Many Chinese people also ask this question. Different people have different answers. Some say that because in February and March the pandemic was bad in Hong Kong, many people came back to mainland from Hong Kong, and came to Shanghai carrying the virus with them. Others say that it was because of other reasons. So that's all I have to share with you today about Shanghai. As you know, I am not in Shanghai right now. So I don't know what life is really like in Shanghai at this very moment. As for my family, they all seem to be okay. In the beginning, they didn't prepare much food either. Now they can do tuan gou, so they can cook and eat every day. And what about you? Have you heard about Shanghai's pandemic? In your country's news, are they talking about Shanghai? Do you have friends from Shanghai? What do they say about it? I know that some of our audience who listen to the podcast live in China, and some of them even live in Shanghai. What is it really like to live in Shanghai? You can let me know by email. My email address is teatimechinese at hotmail dot com. Today's podcast is not an easy one. We have used a lot of new words. After listening to today's podcast, you may find some parts of it. That you don't understand, you can check it out on teatimechinese dot com. You can also check out our Patreon if you want to support our podcast. Our Patreon is patreon dot com slash teatimechinese. So that's it for today's podcast, and thanks again for listening and for your support. I am Nathan, and we'll be seeing you on the next episode. This is a Tea Time Chinese production. For more information, please visit teatimechinese.com.